Okay, today we're going to squash multiple git commits into a single git commit. So for example, I'm in branch vb-9 and if I do a git short log dash 6, I'm going to see the last six commits to that branch. Yeah, as you can see, I have nine commits to help resolve issue vb-9. Well, I don't want to have all of those commits in my repository's history. So what ca I can do is squash them. Keep the code in the last commit, but make it appear as if I made all of those commits in one, in one transaction. So we're on the same page. Let's take a look at the re repository as it stands. Git branch dash avv will show us a list of local and remote repositories. The two that we're going to be concerned with are vb-9 and node.js. Ultimately, I'd like to merge vb-9 branch into the node.js branch, but first I need to get rid of those extra vb-9 commits. The first thing I'm going to do is check out a copy of vb-9 called vb dash 9 dash rebase. I do this for two reasons. First, if the rebase is unsuccessful and I need to revert, all I need to do is delete the rebase branch. Second, if vb-9 and vb-9 dash rebase produce an empty git diff, then I know that the code has stayed the same and it's okay to commit. With that being said, Let's start our rebase by issuing git rebase dash i for interactive and then specifying using six the most recent six commits starting from head. I'll be prompted by a text editor that allows me to select which which commits I'd like to keep as they are and which commits to squash. The way I do this is by changing pick which means keep the commit to squash which means collapse it into the previous commit. Here I'm going to change the three most recent commits to squash. So what this says is I should collapse EC7 commit into 05c commit and then in turn squish that squash that into e99 commit and then finally squash all of that into d00 commit once i'm happy with the squash and pick selection i'm going to do file save and file exit git will rebase and it will take just a moment it may take longer depending on how many commits you're squashing. Now I'm prompted with a text editor to write a message for the one singular commit I have left. Now I have three messages from my previous commits but since I don't think they're very useful I'm going to go ahead and delete them and keep only the commit that I made, keep only the message I made with the last commit. Once I'm satisfied with the message, I'm going to do file, save, file, exit. Git tells us that the rebase was successful and it's updated the branch vb-9 rebase. I can do a git diff between vb-9 and vb-9 rebase. If you remember, if this diff is empty, that indicates the code is the same, which is what we're hoping. Since the diff came back empty, the code must be the same. Now that I know the code is the same, I should check that I'm going to verify that the rebase did what I think it did by checking the short log yet again. Hit short log dash six but now there's only one commit for VB-9, first working version of high score system. 
Since I know everything was successful, I can check out the Node.js branch. Merge VB-9 rebase, which produced no conflicts. Look at the short log for the Node.js, and it's as I expected only one VB-9 commit. Now I know that the git rebase was successful. Hopefully this simple tutorial will help you manage your repository's history safely.